I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Saturday morning. It is the 3rd of December, the year 2022. And this is your friend, Angus Bucken, with a thought for the day. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 4. It speaks about seasons. And verse 4 says, a time to mourn. That's right. We need to take time out to mourn when we lose a loved one. When someone that we love dearly departs from this world and goes to be with the Lord. It's a time for mourning. It's expected of all people. It's in our DNA. If you look at Matthew chapter 5 and verse 4, it's part of the Beatitudes Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. It is a most sensitive time in our lives, and everyone has to go through it sooner or later. Do you know that even Jesus himself wept with Mary and Martha when they were mourning the death of their brother Lazarus? You find that in John chapter 11, verse 35, Jesus wept. And yet he knew that Lazarus was about to be raised from the dead. Mourning the loss of a loved one is a very real emotion. And we need to extend a lot of compassion to people when they are in that state. And we as Christians should be the first to go and to comfort someone who we know has lost a loved one. And those who are shocked by the great loss of a child, a husband, a wife, a granny, a granddad, do not need to be preached at or to be told to pull themselves together. They are wounded. They need to be comforted. But rather than being told to pull themselves together, they need to be loved. They need to be hugged and we need to weep with them. When they are so wounded, they cannot hear you, but they can feel your presence. They can see your tears running down your face, and they can feel your love. The worst thing to do is to stay away or to avoid them. You don't have to say much at all. Just be there for them and just be Jesus to them. Go out today. There are so many people that need your love. Jesus bless you and goodbye.